and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your 2023 Chicago Cubs. Just about to get underway, our starting pitcher in this one, Kyle Hendricks. What's the scouting report on him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Leading off Jonathan India at the play. The second baseman, Jonathan India. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to third, and it goes just foul. First pitch, one o'clock. A oh, one down. And a swing and a miss. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Batting second. T.J. Friedel, the, the next to hit for the Reds. Friedel. And the oh. first pitch misses in the dirt. Singy, this guy's put together a pretty amazing career. Eighth round pick by the Rangers in 2011. Traded to the Cubs for Ryan Dempster a year later. I don't think they thought they were getting a guy who would lead the league in ERA as he did in 2016. Pitch misses oh, outside. Right. Two balls, no strikes to count. Yeah, and I don't think when they traded for him that he would end up becoming starter with the most postseason starts in Cubs franchise history. So, you know, a guy that's very cerebral, understands what he's doing out there on the mound, and sometimes those guys can be tougher than the high velo guys. And yeah, the 3-0 finds the zone. The wind of the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. One down. Here's the left fielder, Spencer Steer. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. And the righty deals on the inside corner for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Let's turn 0-2 now. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Friedel over at first with one away. It's a one-two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Ahead 0-2 in the count, sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Next one just misses, and that is ball one.
And down on strikes. And the inning is over. So one left for Cincinnati. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Welcome back. And today's starting pitcher, Brandon Williamson. Well, this guy has the ability to command the game. He's got to limit damage, make his pitches, and avoid that big inning. If he can work around that, he can give a quality start, hand this off to the bullpen later on, and put his team in a position to win a game. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. Tyler Stevenson. Hendricks back to work. That one fouled off. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire, Singy. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. Next pitch just misses. Going to count one and two. And here it comes. Rip to short. In plenty of time to first. One up, one down. Batting six. The first baseman, number 19. Joey On the north side of Votto. Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton at the plate. Joey Votto. First offering, and it just misses. No score here in the second. Now one and one. Here's a one to one. Good eye right there. Inside, just missed. Bounced up the middle. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Batting seven. The shortstop, Ellie. And now it's going to be Ellie De La Cruz. Seeing you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. There's a strike. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Two outs. And down on strikes he goes. Out number three. Nothing across here this half. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Top half of the We've third inning Cincinnati. and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Noel V. Marte. Noel V. Marte. And he deals. Marte measures six feet even, just 21 years old. 
Usually a short stop, but today starts at third. Bounce to the right. Mastroboni tosses to first. And a quick out number one. One thing he has to remember is that he does not have to cover as much ground. So those balls to his left, remember that you got a good shortstop that can make the backhanded play for you. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Will Benson. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swings through that one. Check swing. Now it appealed to third. Didn't go. One down now. One down. One two. Pulls the string with the changeup. Struck him out. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance. Get him out of there and deal with the next guy. And here is Jonathan India. Line drive, and that's just foul. The Reds certainly hit on their first round pick in 2018 where they took Jonathan India, the former Florida Gator. He turned into the National League Rookie of the Year in 2021. Just an incredible season with the Cincinnati Reds that year. That one catches the zone. That's strike two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters. Got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. That hits the One dirt. Ball. One and two to Cal. And that one a little bit high. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground, right side. Over to first. That ends the frame. Nobody left for Cincinnati. They trail here, one nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's the center fielder, T.J. Friedel. T.J. Friedel. All right, come on now. Hendricks back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Reds, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And one and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Two-two. Popped up. Swanson on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Next for Cincinnati, Spencer Steer struck out swinging his first time. That misses the zone, 1 and 0. Oh. There's a strike. In there at the knees for a strike. The Reds yet to pick up a hit here. Next one misses. Now two and two. And 
And that's outside. Fights it off. He'll see another. Three and two. Payoff pitch. This one popped up. And there are two down. Up next for Cincinnati, the designated hitter, Jake Fraley. Jake Fraley, the next to hit for the Reds. He's 0 for 1. That's a strike. Going one. No ball. One strike. And a pitch. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up. He can go away. He can add velocity. He can subtract. Going to count one and two. Two down now. Up the middle, gloves it on the dive, over to first, and it beats him. What a play. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. Ready now for the Good fifth inning. The now here is the catcher, Tyler nobody Stevenson. Here, nobody. The why to kick the pitch. That's in for a strike. Well, these Reds just aren't putting together very many good at bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys All in this right, lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Next one is off the plate. Now one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Got him looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right the there. And he didn't look too 19. convinced as he headed back to the Julian. dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Right, go, 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. There's the strike. Hey, one away, one away. Tap to first, Bellinger. He'll do it himself, and the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Now batting, shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. Struck out on just three pitches last time. That pitch clips the outside corner. That's strike one. The Reds still looking for their first hit in this one. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. And takes low for ball one. Tough to take a two strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. Hey, need a strike out right here. One and two now. On the ground to short. 
Fires over to Bellinger. That's the third out. And one, two, three, go the Reds. They trail it here, four nothing. All set for the top of the sixth. Leading off, Noel V. Marte. Here comes the pitch. Good eye right there. There's the strike. That's in there, and it's one and two. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Here's a one-two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. He came out of his mechanics there. The right Typically Huber, likes to three. shoot the ball the other way, Will but that time, a little anxious. Will Benson, the next to hit for the Reds. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Here's a line drive, and that's going to end the no hitter. It's a base hit. And that's a double. Waste no time there. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Jonathan India getting ready to hit. First pitch, just misses. And that one is lifted in the air, and that'll fall for a base hit. Benson, around third. Well done. Narrows the now deficit that, with the RBI the there. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. And now T.J. Friedel. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Here we go. Thank you. That misses. Two balls, no strikes. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. Right but now. in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Kicks and fires. He swings and fouls one off. India stands at first with one out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Spencer Steer. Steer goes 5 feet 11 inches, 25 years old. Go, and he was a third round pick back in 2019. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Hey, two outs, huh? And the 0-1. And ball and one. Ball. One ball, one strike.
and a pitch. Got him looking. That's his second strikeout. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's top of inning number seven, and now the designated hitter for the Reds, Jake Fraley. The Reds in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Hendricks back to work. And that's in for a strike. Fought off foul. And the next pitch is way outside. Swing and a pop-up. I got it. Me, me. Wisdom makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now batting. Catcher. Tyler. Here's the Stevenson. catcher, Tyler Stevenson. First offering misses the mark. One ball, no strike. One down, one down. There's a strike. One down, base is empty. A little out front there as he swings through it. Here's a one-two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Way out in front of that inside pitch there. The just exactly the opposite kind of approach Joey. that you want with two Water. strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. Votto in the box now. No balls and a strike. That one off the mark, and the count is one and one. And the pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. One and two here. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a ball and two strikes. Just misses with that one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The pitch swings and misses struck him out Reds down in order and this is still a 4-1 ball game welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight Adbert Alzala number 73 Adbert Alzala In now. Whether you're
you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home there's just something special about that good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans 4-1 the final here today the Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Chomby thanks for joining us Here now is our final line.